So it made you just a little bit nervous. Oh, yes. But yet you kept going back. Oh, there was no way out. Because that we were told. You knew at that time. Yeah. So you were moving forward more on fear. More on fear, yes. Because the, the high priest said that uh, the master had special plans for us in our lives. And that no one ever went into the society unless they were invited by the spirits. See, so that was made very clear. And we even had a few labels getting at us and everything, you know what I'm saying, inquiring about us, talking about they was going to fly in the shows and all of that stuff. I mean, it was serious, man. And the cats that I was actually with, you know what I'm saying, I had heard one of the cats rapping one time in one of the songs talking about selling their soul for fast cars and riches for whatever reason. And I had heard Tupac on a song called Smile talking about selling his soul for fast cars and riches. That's who was saying that. And even Snoop Dogg on a song called Murdo's the Case, he was talking about selling his soul. You know what I'm saying? How he politicking back and forth to the devil. And to me, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> being lost in that street life, it was just words to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just was lost. I ain't know. You know, we think that everybody, everybody out there know that they're away from God. My mindset was I just didn't know, man. I was just I was just wondering. I was, I used to wonder all the time, you know, was I gonna go to heaven or was I gonna go to hell? I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I I never really heard the the gospel in its purest in its purest, you know what I'm saying, in purity and in truth, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know that Jesus Christ was the only way into heaven. So one night I was in my home studio and it had to be like eight to ten people off in there. And um, we had beats and stuff playing in the, in the background and everything. That's how we used to do it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing what they do, smoking, drinking, and everything. And actually, it came down to it that dudes actually started being used by demonic spirits. And these spirits started speaking through them, you know what I'm saying? Devils started speaking through them, talking to me, asking me, you know what I'm saying, if I was going to sell my soul, telling me what I needed to do to take my career to the next level in darkness. And so he asked the questions of one of these human beings mm -hmm. that was channeling. Oh yeah, the voice changed and everything. The voice changed the, the person completely. Of Christ that covers and protects us and forgives the small sin. You can help me. The first thing we can do is pray for you. Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt. Do, do I have to cut myself? You do not have to cut yourself. In the name of our Father in heaven and his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> we just pray right now. <laughs> for the peace and comfort of God to come upon Rebecca. We bind all the powers of darkness, and I place the blood of Christ on Rebecca right now. You are bound. And Rebecca is being loosed. Rebecca is being loosed by the power of Jesus Christ. Don't worry, Rebecca. God is in control. Don't you worry. Who are you? Who are you? The keeper? You are not the keeper. You are not the guardian. Who am I? You are subject to Jesus Christ. You who call yourself keeper, is Jesus Christ Lord? To whom does she belong? And so he asked the questions of one of these human beings mm -hmm. that was channeling. Oh yeah, the voice changed and everything. The voice changed the, the person completely. You will have her on our Halloween. No, you will not have her on your Hallow's Eve. You will not have her. No, she will not be yours forever. She will belong to Jesus Christ. He, like David, will burn. He's Who's David? The David we were talking to a moment ago? <laughs> He's defeated. Is Satan defeated? Yes. Did Jesus Christ rise from the dead? Yes. And you are defeated too. And uh, by then I realized that the Creator was taking care of things. Because these people never give God the glory. But they always refer to higher powers. They respect, they, they, they pride themselves on the fact that they respect authority. You see? So therefore, they, they recognize the Creator for, for who He is. And, uh, but of course, that the Master, fallen Lucifer, is just as smart as God is. 
and he's got he's got it worked out so he's going to have a kingdom to him, in himself for eternity and you know is satan defeated did jesus christ rise from the dead then you are defeated too and your hour has come to an end i have the right to be here what is the right he has not accepted your god I find you to submerge and hold your tongue silent. Rebecca? What? Do you want love in your life? I'm scared of it. Do you want it? Yes. Do you want God? I don't know who he is. Do you want him? Do you want him if he is love? If it's true. Then say, say, I, Rebecca. Uh, keepers, stay out of the way in Jesus' name. Say, I, Rebecca. I, Rebecca. Want love. I want God. Stay out of the way, keeper. Stay out of the way. I want I want out. I want out. Say I put my trust. I put my trust. In God. In God. In, in God. Stay out of the way, keeper. God. And Jesus Christ. Say and. And. Jesus. Say Jesus. Keeper, stay out of the way. Stay out of the way, keeper. Christ. Keeper, keeper, you are bound. You stay right there, and I'm going to come back to you in a minute. It came down to it that dudes actually started being used by demonic spirits, and these spirits start speaking through them. You know what I'm saying? Devils start speaking through them, talking to me, asking me, you know what I'm saying, if I was going to sell my soul, telling me what I needed to do to take my career to the next level in darkness. I mean, dudes actually came up to me holding wads of money, saying, man, don't you want to make all this money? Now, like I said, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't church raised, you know what I'm saying, church every day and all that stuff, but I had went to church, and even though it was a, a traditional Baptist church, you know what I'm saying, I had heard about Jesus. I ain't really hear, you know what I'm saying, the truth and everything, but, you know what I'm saying, my questions that I had within myself began to be answered, and I knew that if those demonic spirits was real, if the devil was real, you know what I'm saying? And he was offering me a way that I knew that God was real. Come into my life and be my Lord and be my Savior. You know, and of course, Jesus saved, you know, hey, a cleansing work began to me. A cleansing work began to me. For the next seven days, I continued actually to hear the demonic spirit still propositioning me to sell my soul. You know what I'm saying? In exchange for fortune and wealth or whatever in that music game. You know what I'm saying? I even, it, it got so bad, I was so scared, you know what I'm saying, because that spirit of fear, you know, anything with the, man, that's the, that's his spirit, fear, you know, I was so scared, I made my mama even get in the bed and sleep with me, I, I was like, don't leave me, don't leave me, I couldn't eat for the, for the next seven days, couldn't eat, couldn't do nothing, it was hard to sleep, the slightest thing woke me up, I look around, posters would be looking at me, blanking, like this, you know what I'm saying, Jay-Z poster on the wall, just, just blanking, you know what I'm saying, just looking at me, it was crazy, man, it was real, though. You know what I'm saying? True story. It had no, n nothing to do with no drugs or nothing like that. It was just straight crossroads, intersection of the, of, the, of the natural realm, you know what I'm saying, and the spiritual realm, you know what I'm saying, button heads, and I had to make my choice which way I was going to go.